Hey guys, it's Tuesday and it's time for another movie monkey review. That's right. This week I saw It, Stephen King's epic novel, um, put, put to the silver screen. Um, I listened to this book. It was about 72 hours long to listen to, or it was like 42 hours long. I don't know. It was a really long book. And um, they bring up the first part of this book uh, on on uh, to make a movie out of it. I thought they did a really good job. Um, and there is a lot that they do when they like cram in so much story into like the characters and following the characters and picking up on subtle hints and you know this is definitely a movie where there's gonna be uh, a second viewing where you're gonna I think uh, catch a lot more stuff a lot more little things that happen a lot of nods to the novel a lot of like extra information you get because you read the novel over um just watching the movie, I, I went and saw it with a friend who didn't know anything about the books, and um, he was like, oh, it got a little confusing for him. Uh, there's a lot of things that aren't answered in the movie that are brought up, that have like no answers, they just reference things, and by them referencing things, you know that they're bad, but you don't understand why they're bad, but I do. <laughs> nice. Good job, Stephen King. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like I was um, appreciated for reading it. Not that it gave me anything... Too much of the, like, gaps filled, but it did give me, like, points of reference of, like, what's going on and who these characters are. Um, for the sake of this rant, I don't remember any of the characters' names, so we're going to call them, like, Leader... Or the guy who stutters, Bill, I think his name is. The chick. Fat kid. Black kid. Jewish kid. Sick kid. Psycho. Bully. Psycho bullies. Friends. Clown. And I think you will be able to figure it out. So, stuff that I really liked about this movie. So, uh, there is a bunch of spoilers, and I'm going to tell you uh, directly scenes that I enjoyed in this little rant about what I liked, uh, and then I'm going to tell you about things that I'm going to nitpick about, and uh, one of like my favorite scenes was um, when the chick just got to read the poem, and she's like got this face that's like, oh, somebody loves me. And cares about me. And you already know that her like family life is pretty messed up. Rape. Her father rapes her. So it's way worse in the books. Um, but yeah. So that's what's going on in her house. So she's like realizing that she doesn't have to be treated like that. Um... And then the sink starts talking to her. And then she, like, gets caught up by the sink, grabs her, and, like, grabs her face and grabs her hand and, like, is yanking her in. And then it gets her so close to the, to the, the drain pipe and then shoots blood, like, right into her face. And... And she's getting blood all over, and then there's blood everywhere, and there's just blood all over the walls, and like, and she's like spitting up blood, and she's just like crying and wailing, and like in terror. And I wasn't really afraid at, in this movie. Like, I thought I was gonna be like scared or creeped out because the book really like creeped me out. It wasn't so much that as, like, watching the characters get the shit scared, like, sh they, like, get scared so bad that they're, like, paralyzed 
with fear. And I think they did a masterful job. A lot of those children actors nailed it. And she was like, whew. it was eerie, it hurt to watch somebody like be in that much emotional agony. And thought she did a really good job at that. Um, yeah. So that was my favorite scene. And I really like how the movie uh, builds up a lot of tension and then breaks it to like hit you with more, like build up more tension. And then, um, and then there's uh, a lot of like comic relief. It's like fun. It's kind of like an adult version of the Goonies. Like if there was also lots of death in it. I mean, first scene was freaking awesome. When like the clown Pennywise rips Georgie's arm off and Georgie's like crawling to this gutter, away from this gutter, and then he gets dragged in. When his arm got ripped off, it really set the tone for this movie. And I really enjoyed, like, I really enjoyed it. Really did. So, um, yeah, that, that was a really crazy scene. And this movie is a lot of crazy scenes, cool effects. Um, the, the part where I got scared, they like, they have this, old um, projector that uses photos and the projector starts working on its own and one of the photos gets like super close to Georgie's face and he's smiling and then it like starts turning into like this grimace it's like hey I'm happy and they're like and then it shifts and goes to like this windblown face of the main character's mother and it turns into like Pennywise and then Pennywise keeps getting closer and closer and the kids are freaking out and they're freaking out and they're freaking out and then like the lights shut off and then they turn on and then he's there and he's like fucking huge and he's gonna eat them it's really scares the shit out of them and then like they get away so like the gripes of this movie the crux of the gripes are that Pennywise lets the kids get away all the time it doesn't get explained adequately enough to say that the children have a certain amount of control over it or like it doesn't have the control over them or they're that they're breaking the psychic link with it because it is this creature that taps into your deepest fears and basically gets you to be as afraid as possible before it kills you so that your essence is like more sustaining to it he, it needs to feed every 27 years to survive and uh and the best way to like sustain itself is to scare the shit out of you before it kills you. And, um, and the movie really doesn't convey that very well either. That like, it doesn't make any sense that its motivation is to scare the shit out of you before it kills you. And, um, I think that they should have established that. Like, one of the people who is getting killed, like, it gave a few seconds or to show that in its, in, there's something coming out of him or, like, some energy when it's really getting scared, really getting scared, and then he, like, kills him and takes a bite out of him and stuff. Like, it 
doesn't actually eat anybody. It bites people because monsters bite people. And that's terrifying to most people being eaten alive is terrifying. So that's why it does it. It's not because, like, it actually eats people. Um, so, like, I don't know how they could convey that better, but that was lost a little bit. I'm not really too ranty about this movie. I, I really enjoyed it. Thought it was I thought it was a good one. And uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it, like, an 86. And it made a ton of money. $143 million opening weekend, or at least when I checked it on Tuesday, which is the day that I watch movies, because they're five bucks. That's right, $5 movie day. Uh, this movie theater in LA was charging like 20 bucks, and I like went in my AMC membership and was like, Phew, and got in for $5. So like, if you don't know that, like pro tip, get on your movie, whoever your local movie theater pro movie provider is, um, get on the rewards program because it's awesome. I get $5 movies every Tuesday. And then, like, every 10 movies, I get 5 bucks. go see a movie. So it's like every 10th movie is free because I'm pretty cheap and I don't buy a lot of the concessions. Sometimes there's concession deals. I found out that I could have got a free popcorn and drink on my birthday, but I didn't tell them it was my birthday. And I saw a movie on my birthday. So I, anyways, you guys have a great day. Um, after thinking about that scene with like the projector, got me freaked out again. It was really, really well done. Freaky scene. And you really get a look on their faces, their little faces. And the sheer terror that's in them. Really good acting. In this movie. Creepy. It was good. And the people move so weird. Sometimes, like, the the bully kid was, like, super stiff in the scene. He walks up. It freaked me out. And when that, like, fat kid get, kept getting cut up, like, his stomach keeps getting cut up with the H, like, and then he gets slashed in the stomach, but he's still kicking, like, he's still moving with the pack. That kid, little fat kid was amazing. And he is amazing. And in the book, he's amazing. He's like the best fucking character. Um, the mouth, like, so funny. There was definitely, like, laugh out loud scenes where I wish I was in a packed movie theater. Like, this movie, I really wish I saw in the opening time and not saved the money. Because I think it would have been better with a bigger audience. Definitely laugh out loud scenes, and maybe like some of the more creepy scenes or shocking scenes would have felt more shocking to me if there was a group more more people were in there to like boost up my energy, um, which is something I, I really should be considering more. I kind of like going on Tuesdays though because cheap, and it's like watching a movie in your living room, and you really have like full concentration on the cinematography and stuff. But this one was. Could be a, could be considered a thrill ride. It might want to be seen with lots of other people. It could be it could be a better experience. Um, have a great day, guys. I love you guys. Bye bye.